Hello, welcome to another video of the complete Angular course. Starting with this video, we will begin building our first project of the course. We will build a social media site for users to post their favorite stories. Users will be able to create and log into their account, post stories, and interact with other posts. We will use everything we learned from this course up to this point while introducing new tools and concepts to help build this site. I'll be using Angular, Angular Material, Firebase, and Firebase TS. After the project, we'll continue with the course and dive deeper into the tools and concepts used in this project. All the things I mentioned is free. If you're new to Angular Material, be sure to do the Angular Material UI course and learn some of the components that I'll be using beforehand. The link to that is posted in the description. I'll also go over the basics of each component as we go. And if you're new to Firebase and the Firebase TS library, I'll go over all the things you'll need for this project as well. For this video, we'll set up our environment. If you reach this far into the course, you should have a Firebase account. Log into the console and create a project so we can host our website and also manage our users and data. After, create a new Angular project. Open the command prompt or terminal and run the ng-new command. Once the Angular CLI finishes generating the files, open the project on Visual Studio Code. Locate the project folder. Open the command prompt to the path of that project and run the code period command. In Visual Studio Code, open the terminal Plus the control and tilde keys, and then add Angular Material to your project. Run ng add at Angular slash Material. Select a theme. Set the typography, and enable Angular animations. After Angular Material, install Firebase TS. Run npm install Firebase TS. Lastly, connect your project with Firebase. Go to the Firebase console and create a web app project. Once you have your web app, go to the project settings page. Click on the gear icon on the left and select project settings. Scroll down until you see your app and select the config option. Copy the configuration code and go back to your Angular project. Locate and expand the environments folder. Go into the environment TypeScript file and paste the configuration code inside. Remove the const keyword. Replace the equal symbol with a colon. And remove the semicolon. Copy the configuration code again and do the same in the environment.prod TypeScript file. 
The reason why we should place the configuration code inside the environment files is because we do not want people to see it. Another reason is, if you're developing a large application, you will have variables and values that are used specifically during production and development environments. For our project, we only have one Firebase project, so we will use the same config code in both environments. Our next step is to go to the app module file and use Firebase TS to connect the project with Firebase. Add the import statements for Firebase TS and the environment variable. Create a constructor for the app module and call the init method from the Firebase TS app class. For the parameter, pass in the Firebase configuration from the environment object. Then go to the browser and go to codable.com slash course files slash social media app to download the files. That's all for this video. Please like, share and subscribe to support the channel. See you in the next video.